let's take a very brief look at some security issues. First of all, there are two DBA or database administration users. The first one is system, the second one is sys. The system user contains all the metadata, as we've already discussed. The system user uses the system table space. We've looked at that as well. The sys user is actually the main or primary database administration user. The sys user is used to start up and shut down the database. Starting up and shutting down the database requires administrative privileges. These are either the sysdba or the sysopera privilege. What we can do is we can connect sys at my database as sysdba or connect sys at NT server as sysopera. SysDBA and SysOpera are very powerful privileges which allow starting up and shutting down of the database. It's important to note that SysOpera is validated through the operating system and is generally a subset privilege of SysDBA. What SysDBA and SysOpera allow is access to the database whilst it is shut down through a password file. Since the database is not started up, there is no other way to access the database through the password privilege system without using an external file that is the password file. The password file is a file which is stored in the operating system as an encrypted binary file. Other types of privileges are system privileges and object privileges in general. A system privilege is a privilege granted to a user which allows creation or changing of database objects such as tables and indexes. An object privilege allows access to the information in those tables such as the data rows. Resources and profiles. Resources and profiles are a method of assigning percentages of hardware resources to different sets of users through profiles. As you can see, resource limits assigned to different profiles, where the different profiles are assigned to different groups of users. Resource limits are obvious limits such as processor or CPU time, input output, and various other items. A percentage of resources would be allocated to a profile as a fixed set. For instance, this profile could get 10% of CPU time, and this profile could get 90% of CPU time. This profile with 10% is allocated to these users, and this profile at 90% is allocated to these users. Therefore, these users would have 10% of the resources, and these users would have 90% of the resources. On user creation, using the create user command, a default profile is assigned to a user. The default profile has unlimited resources. In other words, there is no scheduling of resources between different profiles as in different user groups.